What is up guys? My name is Sats and welcome to Terra. I haven't made a video of Terra in a really really long time. It's actually the last video I made before I took a break. We are in SC and today I'm going to take you guys through SC. And in case any of you didn't know any of the mechanics or anything of that sort. So today I'm going to take you through each boss step by step and I'm going to let you guys know what their mechanics are. Now starting off the first boss in this in this dungeon SC this is a four star dungeon. Uh, the first boss in this dungeon, you have to kill 10 waves of mobs. So, I will meet you guys at the... Well, actually, no, never mind. Because I don't really know when the 10th wave is going to show up. It's kind of just going to happen, you know? So, um, let's get to it. We're going to start killing mobs. Um, this is an all-guild run except for me because I'm not in a fucking guild. But... <laughs> So like I said, the first boss is going to have 10 waves of enemies that the, the tank is going to have to round up. And we are going to have to kill uh, in a certain amount of time. If we do not kill these mobs uh, before the boss spawns, they will all become invincible. And then we'll have to deal with invincible mobs. And that's no bueno. And I don't want to deal with invincible mobs. So we're going to sit here and we're going to kill all these mobs. Alright, so I'm going to meet you guys at the 10th wave. Because this is going to take a minute. So I'll meet you guys at the 10th wave. Alright guys, so we are at the end of the 10, mo 10 waves of mobs here. And um... So now what's going to happen is the boss is going to spawn. Now this boss only has a few mechanics. He's not that hard, but for some reason I get f fucked up by that every single time. Oh, good. Okay, so this boss only has a few mechanics. That being one of them, he just stuns you um, for a short period of time. It is cleansable by uh, a priest and or mystic. Um, another one is a crescent slam that he does in the air, such like this. No, that's not it. Does he not do that anymore? Okay. Well, um, so yeah, like I said, he only has a few... A few mechanics. This boss is probably the easiest boss in the entire um, dungeon. Not only because he's the first, but just because of the lack of mechanics that he has. You can just pretty much melt through him pretty quickly. If you don't get hit by that every 10 seconds like I do. Okay, alright, I'm doing horribly. Let me just say, before anybody harshly criticizes me in the... F in the fucking comment section. I haven't played this game in about three weeks because I took a, I took a hiatus because of some fucking drama in the guild I was in. So I had I had just returned after about after about three weeks. So <laughs> just get, cut me some slack. I'm still trying to get down my rotation again and all of that shit. So just just uh, just bear with me. Bear with me. I'm trying. Alright, so the next thing is going to be three giant... Well, there's going to be... I think there's about going to be about ten mobs. They're not waves, but they're like ten mobs. And uh, after you clear them, you're going to see them in a second. Here they are. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six... Oh, seven mobs. Okay. Seven mobs. Exactly. After these, there are going to be three giant mobs that we have to kill. And then we will immediately lead to the boss room. Which these mobs are easy, they don't require any special mechanic. You can just go in and just just poke. Just just do things. That's all you have to do. Nothing nothing uh nothing difficult, nothing uh too much. Alright, so these are the three mobs I was talking about. So we're gonna what you're gonna wanna do as a tank, uh in this situation, which I am not, uh sober is the tank, but in this situation, as a tank, what you wanna do is you wanna round all three mobs up at the bottom of the uh the ramp here and uh stun as much as possible while your DPS um just absolutely fucking melts them. So that's what you're gonna wanna do at the end of this. Okay, so after that, you are going to come to the boss room. Now this boss actually has a couple mechanics. That I would like to uh, like to show you guys and explain. Um, the first mechanic is that all of these catalysts he will target throughout the fight, and uh, basically what you have to do is you have to try to stop him from killing the catalysts, because uh, if they are all destroyed, um, it is a wipe mechanic, and everybody in the in the um, in the party will die. 
So I'm going to actually, I'm not going to tell you beforehand. I'm going to tell you whilst we're doing it. So it's easier for everyone to understand because if you're a learner, like if you learn like I do, you uh, learn by doing and or seeing. So uh, I'm going to show you guys as we go along. First mechanic he's going to do is that back swipe. If you're a DPS, uh, make sure to just, it's eye, it's eye frameable. So it's pretty, it's pretty easy to dodge. You just gotta know when to iframe it. The second one is he's going to target the pylons. When he says Pyramus is trying to destroy the, the pylons, you're going to want to stack with your party, everybody, to stop from destroying the pylons. When he says small things so bothersome, and you get the secondary aggro debuff, which is at the bottom of you, it is going to be a purple circle, as you can see here, right on uh, ears. You're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to point it towards either of the doors. Either the back or the front door. Not towards the pylons. There's that backswing I was talking about that I completely failed to fucking dodge. Okay, so he's going to target the pylons again. So like I said, this is where you're going to stack with your party. Unless you know that you have the DPS, always stack. Always. 100% of the time. Always stack. It'll give you a short debuff that is cleansable, uh, so I really don't worry about it. If you have a good healer that knows what they're doing, you'll be able to basically face tank through it. Here's another one. He's going to do uh, about four or five of those. Uh, my technique as a DPS when he's doing that is he's going to do one on his right and one on his left. After he does those two, immediately iframe. Because uh, he's going to do a back one and he will debuff you. And this is the small things I was talking about. She's going to get targeted by the purple ring under her character. And um, again, failed to fucking dodge that. Stack. Stack. So this is not going to be the small things. He's just going to target you and do a, a combination of blows in front of him. Enraged. Only when he says um, small things bothersome Enraged. will he do that mechanic. Enraged. So here's the two things I was talking about. One, two, and then three. Enraged. So like I said, one on the right, one on the left, and then he's gonna do a back one. It's gonna be about a second delay in between. So wait about a second and then dodge and he will avoid the debuff. To answer anybody's questions, you can, I, you, are able to iframe when he targets that, but it will not count you as being there. And um, you will not take the damage that that pylon um, would have taken. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the second boss. Um, that wasn't too long, I hope. <laughs> okay, so now we're at the last boss. This last boss, his name is Darken. If you haven't heard of him, which you probably have if you've been playing Terra for a little bit. <laughs> They're all just noticing that I'm here. Hey guys. What's up? <laughs> okay, so um, this first stage of the boss is going to be pretty, pretty easy. He's just going to go to 90%. If you are a tank uh, and, you, and you're tanking this boss, uh, make sure that you do not enrage him until after 90%. So I'll show you what I mean. It'll happen here in a second, because we're about to get there. Okay, so what's going to happen is when he reaches 90%, he's automatically going to enrage. And there's going to be a cutscene. He's going to go into the middle of the room, he's going to disappear, and there's going to be a cutscene. So, do not... In you are going to waste a, waste a 30 second enrage if you do that before, uh, before the cutscene. So, you're going to want to wait until after the cutscene... Um, when he's, when he's ready to fully go. Okay, so he's gonna do, that was random. He's gonna have these fire swipes in front of him. Well, not now. So he's gonna do th about four basic attacks, and then he's gonna swipe. So here's the thing. Okay, and then he's gonna immediately do this. This is a, this is a white mechanic. Um, get out of it as fast as possible. It's no bueno. This is really hard to keep up with. Okay, alright, so one mechanic at a time. Alright, this is a mechanic we're going to want to bring these to the side because these are DOT puddles and um, they will stay there for a duration of time. This is also a mechanic involving AoEs. You're just going to want to try and stay out of the, the red ones 
as much as possible. They are iframeable, uh, just so everybody knows. All right, so three base, three to four basic attacks in the middle, and then he's gonna stop. You're gonna want to be on the side of the sword that he slams down on. So say he slams on the right, you're gonna want to be on the right of where he slams that sword down on to avoid the swipe. The swipes are iframeable, so you can stop the swipes from hitting you. This mechanic is he's gonna do, uh, I think he's gonna do about four of those, and then he's gonna do two back swipes that automatically debuff you. And so you're gonna want to dodge both of those. All right, so this is another mechanic. This is the ghost mechanic. He's gonna disappear and a ghost is gonna pop up. It's basically just a DPS thing. You just gotta kill the ghost. There's no time limit. There's no consequence if you don't kill the ghost fast enough. Um, you just gotta kill the ghost. That's about it. And then he'll come back dazed, uh, which will just be free DPS for uh, a couple seconds. And then he's gonna immediately go into a sword swipe, apparently. Okay, so he's gonna do the sword swipe mechanic where he's gonna do the four. Make sure to be on the, the correct side of the sword on where it lands and where he keeps it. This is gonna be the back swipe mechanic that I did not dodge. And as a tank, you guys may have seen that, that corkscrew mechanic that he does. As a tank, you are going to want to block that 100% because if you do not block that, um, the boss will go all over the room and your party will get super fucking pissed. Oh, don't go in front of him like I just did and get debuffed like a little bitch. Alright, so now there's going to be another ghost mechanic. Focus mode engaged. Remember you guys, you want to get out of this when he says all they are is dust. You want to get out of that. That is an instant wipe and you cannot, uh, you cannot eye frame that at all. I'm just gonna face tank this real quick. Hope nobody minds. Okay, so once he reaches about 25%, he's gonna he's gonna basically say, uh, "I'll show you my true power." As you can see on the screen right now. He, I'm not really 100% sure what happens when he goes into this phase. Um, I I would assume he gets stronger and his endurance gets higher and uh, he gets faster with his animations. Uh, so this is what happens when you get hit by it. Um, you just get, you will get pushed back and you will get a um, a debuff. All right, guys. So that was that was SC. Ooh, I got the emerald. Hey, I never get the emerald like ever. <laughs> like ever, I never get the emerald. Alright guys, well that was SC. Uh, there's not an SC normal mode. Uh, there's not an SC hard mode, rather, um, in this game yet. So uh, unfortunately, I think that's not coming out for a while, if not uh, at all. So um, if you guys liked this video and, it, um, and the it tutorial helped you a lot during the video, I know it was a little scatterbrained. I haven't really done a tutorial before at a dungeon, so I was kind of just going with the flow. Um, at first it was a little hard it's hard to manage, but I got through it. I explained it pretty well I think if you guys have any questions make sure to leave comments in the comment section. I will make sure to answer them right away uh, If you guys want a video on uh, warrior rotation or another Tutorial video any on any of the other dungeons or stats roles equipment any of that Make sure to drop a like and tell me make sure to share this with your friends and family and I'll see you guys in the next one Make sure to subscribe peace